Yo, we just changed the game with this one. Introducing AG number two, the newest groundbreaking artificial intelligence software in the game. We got things like AI text generator, AI image generator, AI code generator, AI chat box, AI text to speech, and voiceover capabilities. Yes, it does coding. Yes, it does images. It literally does everything. Make sure you click the link at the top line of the description box. If you're a content creator, if you're an artist, if you're just a regular person that want to take your life to the next level, trust me, click that link at the top line. So you guys are not going to believe this new right here. The son of Diddy Christian Combs now was being painted out to be just like his father allegedly is, according to this new complaint right now. Now, what they're saying is, right? And certain words I'm going to have to redact, but you'll get what I'm saying, right? We're going to speak in code today. Now, earlier today, it was pretty much reported that Christian Combs is being named in a looming lawsuit accusing the rap star of S.A. and drugging a woman, right? Now, in an exclusive statement to the Jasmine brand, attorney Tyrone Blackburn confirms this and tells us that Diddy is aware of the lawsuit his son faces. Diddy's attorneys have also been informed Blackburn also tells us he has photos of clients and injuries. They add, um, they're saying that it'll actually be filed in the coming weeks. And they're also looking to, you know, if it goes their way, to not only have it civilly, but for charges, criminal charges to come out of this. And um, all I can say is come on, right? Now, we all been to school. We all... You know, and a lot of people just want me just to give the news, right? Yeah, we, we, we do the news here, but it's also a podcast. And we also have been giving our opinion. We've been giving it since, you know, 2000, earlier than 2016, but really like 2014. Been at this, giving my opinion on certain topics. So I'm going to give you my opinion. I think it's hog wash. The more and more days that go past, right? The more and more that we see things, you know, him not being charged. It's like... Are they just throwing stuff to the wall to see, to see what's going to stick? Now, look, I'm not in the evidence room. I'm not in the police station. I don't see the evidence out there. So I'm waiting to a certain extent. But you know how mama always told you to, you know, don't ever, don't ever ignore that feeling in your stomach? That feeling in my stomach, my gut feeling telling me this is a bunch of BS. A bunch of BS. It's telling me that a lot of this stuff is a bunch of BS. Now, if I'm proven wrong, look. Warm the crow up, put them in the oven, you feel me? Serve it with some damn barbecue sauce, and I'll eat the crow. But other than that, it's like, man, you got to do a little bit more to convince me. And we have to be careful because it's just allegations. But the media and whoever, you know, whoever is the power that be, if there is one behind this, I think their job has been they're effective. They scored. They won. Because now public perception is Diddy some freak. That's freaking men, women, anybody else that comes in his vicinity. And then now they're starting to even pass that down to a son with these different lawsuits and allegations that are coming out. And, um, you know, you have to just sit back. And, you know, look, I don't want you mean to toot our own horn. Too, too. But if you've been watching our coverage over anybody that's been in the public eye over the last six, seven years, since 2017, really. You always know that we always give you a different perspective than mainstream media. And not because we're trying to diabolically oppose to them or trying to go against them. It's just that when we see the BS, we call it out. That's what our platform is built on, right? Guerrilla journalism, guerrilla media, giving you the truth outside of the scope of what mainstream media. And everybody and their mama has one narrative, right? They get money and they drag in Diddy's name through the mud. Now, look. I'm not saying that we wouldn't bring people on here that were opposed to Diddy because we have done that. But we also want to give you the other side of the story. And we understand sometimes that don't sell as well as somebody coming on here and dog walking Diddy. You feel me? So now his son is being dragged in. As of right now, there hasn't been anything officially filed. But they say in the coming weeks they're trying. They're going to file this. And um, the word that pops in my head, if I had to give two words, two words right in the comment section. I see money grab those are the two words that pop in my brain you know how in the cartoon they got those big bubbles that pop up when somebody's thinking or talking 
I see money grab popping up in my brain right now. And this is no disrespect to any potential victims. Like I said, if I'm wrong, I will surely come back home here and correct it and say, look, I was wrong. But I'm feeling my emote. My feeling is that this is some BS. I could definitely be wrong. I definitely could be wrong. And I always want to make it clear that I'm very sympathetic to potential victims. But I'm also fiery mad and got one eye open to potential charlatans and liars. Lazy people sitting at home making up shit. Or a girl that you done slept with that you left and she got mad and made something up. Or somebody that you shook their hand and took a picture with and they making up a false lawsuit. Also got my eyes open for that as well. So don't get it twisted. I ain't with no scumbag dudes. I never liked those type of scumbag dudes that took advantage of women like that and did crazy. I'm, that's not me. Everybody who know me personally know I don't ride like that. But I also despise people that lie, cheat, and steal their way to the top. I also despise that as well. So I just want to make that very, very clear for the audience watching here on Hip Hop News Uncensored. But with that being said, look. I'm going to fall back. You already know, man, we on this Diddy. We got a lot of comment trying to work to get some more people in this week to keep feeding you guys content and just giving you guys that different perspective. You know, you, you can go watch your other channels and shit like that, and you go check them out. Just say, all right, let me go over to Hip Hop News and Censor for the real shit. The real? I know these brothers are going to give it to me real. They ain't going to sugarcoat it. They ain't going to tell me what it really is. Not, I can easily go make a video. I got plenty of clips of Diddy doing wild shit and go and, and do crazy numbers. That's simple to do. But I would rather give you guys, you know, um, the other side of the spectrum because nobody knows the truth. I could say the truth all day about the situation, but nobody really, really knows the actual truth because we weren't there. Right. So all we could do is speculate, pontificate and make up, you know, our best, you know, um, reasoning to why we think what is what. But other than that, no one knows. But that being said, I'm going to fall back. This is the point where I get into my final announcements and whatnot. Um, so also, real quick, the website is hiphopun.com. That's hiphop, the letter un.com. If you want to get at me to advertise on the channel, I know you see a beautiful advertisement before each video. Email me right now, O-G-O-D at hiphopun.com. That's O-God at hiphopun.com. And don't even worry because the link is all the way down at the bottom of the description. Also, we're on TikTok, we're on X, and we're on Facebook. So those links are also in the description box right below. So the website, the social media links, and my personal business email for serious business inquiries is all in the description box below, as well as the link to our app, our newest app, um, AG2. Check that out at the top line of the description box. Hey, fire it away. So don't get lost in translation. Fire it away. What do you think about this? New potential lawsuit or potential charges for Christian Combs. Let me know down below. I appreciate y'all. Peace.